Hey, it's Jacob Weed here from Roadmap Money, and I want to walk you through my free budget template that I created in Google Sheets. So I'm going to bring it up here and we can check it out. It's real simple, but I've split it up into four specific sections. And this is important because when you structure your budget, you want to do it in a very specific order. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So again, you got the monthly budget here and then on the other side, you've got this transactions tab. We'll get to that in just a little bit. So at the top, you always start with your income because you need to know what you're working with. If you create a budget based on numbers that you don't actually know what's coming in and you create a bunch of numbers going out, you're not going to be able to balance that out. So what you want to do is start with what's actually in your account. So this is a mistake a lot of people make is they don't actually start with the money that's in their account. They just have some hypothetical, I'm going to be making this next month, and they put that in there. That's not how it works. So what's in your account? So say you have a thousand bucks, you put that in your starting balance. Then we go down through and just break I like to break it out by paycheck. So if you're getting paid bi-weekly and maybe you have a spouse or a partner that's getting paid bi-weekly as well, you want to put all of those in there. Or if you have other side hustle income or interest income or rental or whatever that income is, make sure you capture everything that's going to hit your bank account here. And to be clear, this is net income. This is the stuff that's hitting your bank account. This is not necessarily the number on your paycheck. So let's say uh, you get 2500 and your spouse gets 2500 and there is your monthly income. And then let's say you guys walk dogs um, and you make about 500 bucks a month walking dogs, whatever you want to call that. Um, you can edit these things here. So once you've recorded all of your income, now you know what you're working with, right? So here's your income and then we can start plugging in the next parts of the budget. So this is your expenses. I like to go fixed expenses and then your variable expenses. And then um, what we're going to do is call savings buckets for saving for larger expenses in the future. So we'll break that down here. So first things first, uh, your bills. You'll notice I have a number after each of these bills. I think it's important to put your bills in order of when they're actually coming through. So you actually can look at your account and go, hmm, there's a lot of bills on the first half of the month. Maybe we can rearrange some of those, or at least you can go, okay, we need more money at the beginning of the month or the middle of the month, whenever all your bills are going to be coming through. Typically, it's the beginning of the month. So we'll just put in um, some numbers here, um, and I will speed through this real quick, and we'll get down through, because bills are, are just bills, right? They're pretty much the same. They're fixed. You should be able to go through your um, utilities and your, your subscriptions, just check your credit card or bank statements and see what these bills are, what they average per month and put that average number in here. So let me plug the rest of these in and then we'll get through, uh, to the next section of the video. Okay. And then again, you can change any of these in here. You just update the names here and, um, plug in whatever bills you have. So the next section, I call it daily spending because this is this is basically your variable expenses. So your bills are pretty much fixed and your daily spending is things like groceries and gas and shopping and clothing and, you know, entertainment, stuff like that, that are going to come out in infrequent uh, scenarios. And there are always variable amounts. But over time, you've got to spend this money. This is your I've got cash in the bank so I can go spend it to get through the week type of stuff. Um, so make sure as you're going through these Put in realistic numbers. A lot of people will try to open a budget spreadsheet and just plug in numbers where they think they should be spending, but it's not based on reality. Um, and in fact, that's probably the best thing you could possibly do. In fact, it's what I do with every single one of my coaching clients is go through the last 90 days of your spending, categorize everything, and then average it out to look at how much have I actually been spending? So when you fill out this budget, you're using realistic numbers, not just made up numbers in your head, what you think you should put in. Going through your past spending and figuring out where your money actually has been going is going to make this part so much more accurate and it'll help you actually stick to the budget. Um, so I'm going to go through and just plug in some numbers here um, based on where, you know, my average spending is and then we'll get to the next section. Okay, so now that we have daily spending numbers plugged in, we're going to go to what are called savings buckets. So these are... Um, savings accounts essentially where you're saving up for a larger purchase in the future. But I like to put small amounts toward these every single month. So things like Christmas or maybe clothing or birthdays or an upcoming vacation 
car maintenance, a car replacement fund even, and even your investments can be part of these savings buckets. And what you want to do is think about down the road, uh, you know, say it's January and you know Christmas is in 12 months. And you say you want $2,400 available for Christmas gifts and Christmas items. You break that down by month. Okay, well, I need to save $200 a month toward Christmas. And the same thing with clothing. Okay, when do I need new clothing by? Maybe the new school year is in September. That's nine months away. And I'm going to need 500 bucks. You know, maybe you need about 40 to $50 a month. So you calculate that out and break it down by how much you need to save per month. And the magic here is to sign up for a savings account that is outside of your regular bank. Where you can transfer this money to, and you can track it here, um, or you can open multiple savings accounts and literally name them the different names of what you would like. And then every single month you transfer that small amount over there. Um, so I'll put a link to a recommended bank that I use below that pays a very high interest rate. Um, and you can also check out my video on the top seven high yield savings accounts up here, which also uh, will walk you through some of those higher paying savings accounts. But the key is keep it away from your regular bank so you don't accidentally touch it. But we'll plug in some numbers here and then we'll see where we land. Okay, so I've plugged in all of the numbers and you can see it totaled all the expenses down here. And we're gonna go to the top and kind of see where we at we are at so far. So, so far with the paychecks coming in with the money that's already sitting in the accounts and with walking those dogs, there's about 11,500 total available for this specific month. And in the expenses side, we have about 10,200 in expenses. So uh, based on this person's hypothetical budget, they would have about $1,200 of monthly savings. Now where that savings goes depends on where you are at in your budgeting journey. You want to put aside, uh, I say at least one month of expenses in savings first, and then you can start moving toward paying off some of that high interest debt. But again, play with the numbers here, mess around with it. You'll see as you go through where you can land. If you end up Having too many expenses, you're going to need to go through and start making some adjustments to the things that are less high priority. Uh, your daily spending is a great place to make some cuts if you can squeeze a few dollars out of the budget and maybe some of these savings buckets. Maybe you would like to put 500 in the Roth IRA, but you just can't right now. So it's okay if you've got to pull a few things back as you make some adjustments. The goal here is to create a realistic budget based on your spending, and then you just make small tweaks uh, along the way to actually start to save you money. Now, how do you actually use this budget? So now that you have a plan in place before the month begins, now once the month starts, how do you track? So that's where the transactions tab comes into play. So again, we had that starting amount. I like to just say, you know, put the starting amount in here. Um, so that would be, what was it? We put a thousand dollars, um, and we'll just put that as the category starting balance. And you can see all the categories you put on the front page automatically pull over here. So that's our starting balance. Um, and then uh, let's say on the fifth, you get your first paycheck, which we said was 2,500 bucks, right? So you just plug the number in here, paycheck number one, uh, his paycheck, boom. So what you'll see is when I go back to the monthly budget tab, there it is. There's our starting balance. That's what actually came through. And there's that first paycheck. So you can see, Here's the money coming in. And then as you spend money, same thing. We're going to go down to the expenses side. And let's just say on the first, again, you went to Costco and spent a Costco amount of money on groceries. And we'll just type in groceries. And as again, you can see all of your categories are now here in the drop down. So we put a thousand, well, 500 bucks on groceries and we can put a little note here so we can see. Now I put this little tab in here and this tab is not necessarily important right away, but when you're reflecting on the month, once you're done entering all your expenses, check it out. You can go through and say, okay, I need it. This was definitely a needed expense. Uh, I got to have it. It's one of those expenses that like I, I spend money on it. And I feel good about it. Maybe it's your daily coffee. It's okay to say I got to have that daily coffee. Um, but then there's meh, kind of like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have spent that money. And then there's a drop it category. And when you start tracking your money, you'll start to find those, those drop it categories, especially on unused subscriptions, gym memberships, or uh, just wasteful eating out where you're like, nah, that's not 
meeting my health or money goals, let's drop that. And so when you do a uh, recollection of the month, I recommend going through this priority tab and uh, labeling everything. And then you can just kind of like sort it and go, hmm, okay, there's definitely – maybe a few hundred dollars there where I can drop out of my budget. So anyway, that's all built into the monthly budget. You can use this uh, using Google Sheets. So if you have like a Gmail account, that's all you need uh, to grab a copy of this. Um, I'll put a link below where you can sign up and grab a copy of that. And I'll uh, be sending you some follow-up emails as well if you sign up to grab this and it'll walk you through different stages of your financial journey along the way. The cool thing is, is there is a mobile app um, called Google Sheets. And in Google Sheets, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here, you'll be able to pull up the budget template as well. And in here, you can actually just record those transactions on the go. So you can go to the transactions tab and um, just pull it up here. You can go into the transactions tab and actually just plug them in. So you go to the grocery store or you go spend some money, you just plug it right in here. So you can always keep this thing up to date and it's fully synced with your your online version of it as well. So I'm just opening it up so you can kind of see, you know, there's the mobile version of it. It, it works live and I can go through and uh, record a transaction and, and do all that. So hopefully this was helpful. I'm so glad for you that you're even just here considering starting to put some organization around your finances. It's scary sometimes to look at where your money's been going and trying to make a plan for it. You're going to fail, by the way. This is a three to six month process of just really nailing down a plan and starting to execute on it month after month. It's daily decisions. It's weekly habits. It's meetings with your significant other to really just kind of like grapple and get a hold of your money because there are trillions and trillions of dollars of advertising spend out there every single year coming after your wallet. And so you need to protect it. And that's what this budget can help you do. Uh, if you have any questions about this or how it works or, or where to get it, uh, like I said, there's links below. You can drop a comment and let me know. And um, I'm just really excited for you. So welcome to the party and uh, happy budgeting.